iOS fans, Robin here, and I'm back again uh, with another deck review for you. Um, this is very much an experimental deck, uh, a work in progress, and um, it's, but it's going to be taking on Pete uh, McGaw's Fiends, and it's a Stormcast Eternals deck. Now, in, while I've been uh, preparing this deck, the uh, Relic Gate has hit, um, and it's not a Relic deck, uh, but I have tried to take something from it and hope to pick up some glory by not doing very much in the first turn and then beef my storm cast and, um, and then attack with them. Now, now I'm looking at it again, reviewing it, I'm not sure whether I've actually managed to do that. But anyway, this is the deck I'm going to be playing with, uh, so we'll have to see how the game goes. So for my objectives, I've got uh, Consecrated Area, Sigma's Boark, Alone in the Darkness, so they're all kind of around, uh, not taking any damage, those three. Uh, alone in the Darkness, I've got to be separate, but the Consecrated Area and Sigma's uh, Boark, I have to not take damage. Blooded, which is almost the opposite of the previous cards. Change of Tactics could be handy for uh, putting people on guard and such like, and then charging. Defensive Strike, Escalation, Massive Assault. I think the Stormcast can score Massive Assault uh, once they get up and running. That's what I'll be hoping for. Master of War, pretty standard card these days. Uh, Master Stroke, again, I've got some ploys and things to, to take extra damage. Hopefully I can score that. Uh, Ploy Master, kind of standard fallback card really, and Scent of Victory. And uh, and so I've Scent of Victory, and so Scent of Victory and Bloodied are in there really uh, to try and uh, capitalize on Shard Gale, which is in there. They're kind of against, go against Boark. Uh, but hopefully I can score both uh, during the game uh, will be will be nice. And I've also stuck in defensive strikes. I'm hoping to lure Pete deep down into my half and then take somebody out down there. That's what I'll be going for anyway. And then my ploys, I have gone for a heroic guard and an unstoppable strike to a uh, Sigma specific one. So it's giving cleave. Um, cleave going more and more around to cleave as the game evolves and more and more around to guard. So I'm hoping to be cleavy and guardy with my uh, Sigmarines. And then Duel of Wits because I have got 22 power cards, so it's good to cycle through them. Great Concussion could be very handy. It's very handy for scoring alone in the dark if nothing else. Healing Potion because I think I'm going to take some damage with this Warband setup so I want to try and uh, mitigate that. Inspiration Strikes because frankly an inspired Stormcast is much better than an uninspired one. My turn, again, can be useful uh, to push up an attack. I'm trying to get as many attacks in as I possibly can. This is also why Ready for Action is in there. And then Shard Gale to really take some damage out. Could really do some damage to Pete, I hope. It's a little bit uh, of a double-edged sword, as we know, but I've got it in there. Um, so hopefully it'll work in my favor. Trap, because I'm hoping to do some, some damage and then push back, and Garrett could find Trap very useful indeed. And twist the knife again because for somebody like Angarid with the three dice, it's a really handy card to have. Well, if we can put off twist and knife and trap at the same turn, um, she deals four damage uh, out of the blocks, which would be pretty handy. Upgrades. Uh, so my upgrades have got blessed by Sigma, block for bright shield, and now I have to go on guard. Heroic might giving cleave again. I'm, so I'm coming around to cleave. A destiny to meet. I think this is a good card for the Stormcast. Hopefully I won't get annihilated. And I can play it on one of my surviving fighters at the end of the game. Awakened weapon. Always handy. Concealed weapon again handy. I'm going to do some up close and personal damage. A concealed weapon could be very useful. Great fortitude. Great strength and incredible strength. All for obvious reasons really. Soul trap because I do like it as a card. I say I've come around to that in the past. and never really saw the point of it. The 50-50 thing. But it really does make your opponent think twice about who they attack. Because they may actually do absolutely nothing to them when they've attacked them. And finally trusted defender. Uh, because uh, I'm going to be taking some hits as well as dishing them out, I imagine. So those are my cards. It's not a very uh, exciting deck. We're a little bit worried. It's glory light. There's not very many heavy glory cards in there. Hopefully I can do some damage to uh, mitigate that. Um, and let's see how we go. I think I've, although I try not to be led by what Pete's playing, knowing he's playing the Fiends, this deck feels a little bit better. But, I'm not sure how well it would do against a fast moving troop. But like I said, it's a, it's a work in progress. I, you know, we need to evolve, I need to evolve my, evolve my game as I go. 
and uh, it's nice to, to sort of start from the beginning. I'd like to make a killer deck from the, from the, from the word go, but these things take time. So anyway, that is my Stormcast deck. Um, we'll see how it plays. So thanks for listening, and I hope you found it useful, and do uh, give me comments or suggestions below. And of course, if you uh, want to catch all that stuff earlier than usual, or you fancy a bit of chat with Pete and I behind the scenes, then do think about signing up to our Patreon, for which there will also be a link in the comments below. Uh, or in the description below. So until then, goodbye. Bye.